Hola niños, me llamo Pete. Hoy vamos a leer Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a poor widow who lived with her son Jack in a little house. Their wealth consisted solely of a milking cow. When the cow had grown too old, the mother sent Jack to sell it. On his way to the market, the boy met a stranger. I will give you five magic beans for your cow, the stranger offered. Jack was unsure and hesitant, but then thinking it was a deal, he decided to accept. When he returned home, his mother was furious and re re reprimanded him sternly. You fool, what have you done? We need the money to buy a calf. Now we don't have anything and we are even poor. poor. Jack felt guilty and sad. Only a fool would exchange a cow for five beans, his mother affirmed. Then angrily, she threw the five beans out of the window and sent Jack to bed with no dinner. The next morning, when he stepped outside, Jack saw an amazing sight. A giant beanstalk reaching far into the clouds had grown overnight. The beans must have really been magic, Jack thought happily. Being very curious, the boy climbed the plant, and once he reached the top of the stalk, he found himself over the clouds. While looking around the amazement, Jack saw a huge castle. I wonder who lives there, he thought. Jack was very surprised to see a path leading to the castle. What are you doing here? And thundering voice asked. The biggest woman he had ever seen was scrawling at him. Jack could only mutter. I am lost. May I have something to eat? I'm very hungry. The woman who did not have any children looked at him a little more kindly. Come in quick. I'll give you a bowl of milk, but be careful because my husband, the giant, eats children. If you hear him coming, hide at once. Jack was shaken with fear, but nonetheless, he went inside. The milk the woman gave him was very good, and Jack had almost finished drinking it when he heard the tremendous sound. The giant was home. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, the giant shouted. Hide quick, the woman whispered, pushed Jack into the oven. Do I smell a child in this room, the giant asked, suspiciously sniffing and looking all around. A child, the woman repeated. You see and hear a ch children everywhere. That's all you ever think about. Sit down and I'll make you dinner. The giant still grumbled, filled a jug of wine and drank it all with his dinner. After having counted again and again all the gold pieces of his treasure, the giant fell asleep with his feet propped up on a table. After a little while, he thunderingly snored, echoed throughout the castle. The giant's wife went and prepared the giant's bed, and Jack, who had sneaked out of the oven, saw the gold pieces on the table and filled a little bag full of them. I hope he wouldn't see me, otherwise he'd eat me whole, Jack thought. While shivering, while with fear, Jack's heart was beating faster. Not just faster because he feared the giant would, but because he was very excited. Thanks to all the gold coins, he and his mother would be rich. Jack ran down the path over the clouds. Jack arrived at the top of the beanstalk, the giant beanstalk, and began his descent as quickly as possible, hanging over the leaves and the branches. When he finally reached the ground, he found his mother waiting for him. The poor woman had been worried sick since his disappearance. She had been frightened by the giant beanstalk when she saw Jack coming down, then triumphantly hold up the bag of goins. She burst out crying. Where have you been, my son? Do you, know, do you want me to die wearing what kind of plant? is this what when he returned home his mother was furious and we replied him sternly you fool what have you done we need this money to buy a cap we have no point even for jack carefully interpreted her bag emptying the contents of the bag before her you see i did the right thing exchanging those cow for magic beans Jack decided to go back to the castle above the clouds. This time, the boy went inside through the kitchen and hid once again in, short, in the oven. Shortly after, the giant came out in the, and began to sniff about. 
I smell children, he said to the wife, but since she had seen no one come in, she didn't pay attention to him. After dinner, the giant placed a her here on the table. The hen laid golden eggs. Jack saw this miraculous hen from the cracking in the crack in the oven door. He waited for the giant to fall asleep. He jumped out the, the oven, snatched the hen, and ran out to, of the castle. Once again, he found his mother anxious, waiting for him at the foot of the beanstalk. Is that all you got, a hen? She said, Jack, this family, but Jack ran happily into the courtyard. Just wait, he said, mother. As a matter of fact, a little while later, the hen laid golden egg and continued to lay such a egg every single day after that. One evening, he gathered all the cur courage and climbed once again, more the giant beanstalk. The time he entered the castle ran up an open window. He sneaked in the darkness the kitchen of the kitchen and hid inside the huge pot until the following day. After dinner, the giant went to his m magic harp and instrument and sang and played marvelous music. While listening to the harp's sweet melody, the giant fell asleep. In his hiding place, Jack was captive, captivated by the harp song as well. When he finally heard the giant snore loudly, he lifted the pot's lid and saw the extraordinary instrument, a golden harp. He quickly climbed onto the table and ran away with his harp in his hands. The instrument woke up the giant screaming. Master, master, wake up. A thief is taking me away. And the giant woke up and suddenly was distorted, disoriented for a couple seconds, but then realized what was happening and began chasing Jack. The boy ran as fast as he could, and the harp kept calling out. When Jack got down to the earth, he called out to his mother, look what I brought you. The harp began to play an exchanging melody of his mother's smiling, smiled happy, happily. But up in there, the clouds, someone else had heard the harp's beautiful song, and Jack soon realized what the terror was that the thick being sock was shaking under a very heavy weight. The giant was coming down to earth. Hide the harp and bring me an axe. I must chop down this plant before the giant gets here, Jack said to his mother. They could already see the giant's huge boot when finally the plant of the giant finally crashed to the ground. The magic sound of the harp cursed his mother's sadness, cured his mother's sadness, and she was once happy and cheerful. The hen kept on laying golden eggs. Jack's life and gone through a lot of changes since he accepted the magic beans but without his courage and his wit he and his mother could have never have been found happiness the end goodbye